So hi there, in this video I'm going to discuss a little bit about the Egyptian numerals. So this video, the Egyptian numerals, this topic is under the Fundamentals of Mathematics course. Okay, so let's do this. So we know Egyptians, right? So they have their own numeral system, which is um, a very basic way of writing, but um, it's kind of tedious in doing it, so let's have it now. So the Egyptians have developed their own style of writing numerals. So this is what we call the Egyptian numerals. So the order, just take note, the order of the symbols does not affect the value of the numerals. So um, actually the, the Egyptians can write it anyway, okay, in any way they want, um, in any, the, I mean the order, okay? So it does not affect the value. Um, unlike in the Roman numerals, if we're going to have a little throwback, um, the, the placement of the symbols may add or minus the numerals um, after it or before it. Okay, um, each of the symbols can be written as many as nine times. So there's no maximum, just unlike in the Roman numerals that they have only the maximum of three, okay, per symbol. So let's have some example, and I'm going to show you the how the Egyptians write their numerals. So here it goes. So for this, um, we call this a stroke or the staff in some books, staff. So this is just a stroke, just like um, regularly in like in the Roman numeral I. The, the meaning here for the Hindu Arabic or decimal system is one. Okay, that's a stroke or staff. Second is the heel bone. Okay, if you're going to look at your heel and then you know turn it turn it um upside down, that's the heel bone here, and that's the meaning the the value of this in decimal system in our system is ten. We have the scroll. Okay, this is our scroll. This is how we write it, and the value is one hundred. Um, we have the flower, or some call it the lotus flower. In some books, they just simply write the flower as it is. Okay, so like the circle and writing the petals. But anyways, um, this flower, um, the, the value of this flower is 1,000. Okay, we have the pointing finger, finger rather. So this um, is pointing, um, going to the right. Um, this is 10,000. And we have here the fish. Okay, and some books, they don't write it like this. They write it like a regular... Um, you know, grade school, um, how to write a fish, a regular fish. Um, just take note, some other books don't recognize it as a fish. Some recognize it as a, a frog, um, a, um, a tadpole or such. But in our book, we'll, we're going to follow this fish. And that's equivalent of 100,000. And we have the man or simply, the astonished man or simply just the man. That's equivalent to nine, uh, 1,000, 1 million rather, sorry, 1 million. So, for example, um, like we can write it nine times. So, if we're going to count the, if we're going to write the stroke or the staff five times, that's going to be equal to five. If we're going to count the flower six times, that's equal to six thousand. And if we're going to write the man nine times, that's nine million. Okay, simple as that. So, to show you some examples, um, let's put it there so that we can we can always go back at it. So, for example. The number 245 can be presented in Egyptian numerals as this. Okay, notice we have two scrolls that, that's equivalent to 100 plus 100, that's 200. We have four heel bones, that's 40. And we have five staffs or strokes, that's going to be five. So 245. Okay, um, 2008 can be presented as this. We have two flowers or lotus flowers, that's 2,000, and we have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strokes or staffs. Okay, so 2,008, and we have this 2,320,111 can be presented as this. Two million, we have two men, three fishes for 300,000, we have 20,000, two pointing figures. We have one scroll for 100, we have one heel bone for 10, and we have one stroke for the units digit one. Okay, so simple as that. We can just, you know, just um, given the place value, you just need to write the number of numerals we need for the Egyptian numerals. And just take note, the bad thing about this Egyptian numeral is that we can only write it nine times. So writing all of this numerals nine times, we can only have a maximum of 9,999,999. So in the, in the Egyptian numerals, there's no billions. Okay, since we can only write it nine times. Okay, so your time for the exercises. So you can write the following here in Egyptian numerals. I'm going to give you the, the Hindu Arabic numerals here or the decimal system. We have here one, two, three, four, and five. I think you can pause the video to answer this. 
Okay, go. Okay, I think that will be enough. So for number one, let's answer this. Um, we have 7 million, so we're going to look at this astonished man, this man. So we're going to write this man seven times. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 million. We have... We have nothing in the in the in the thousands period, so leave it be. Meaning we're not going to write any fish, any fishes, any fingers, and any flowers. So we're going to go directly to the scrolls. We have eight hundred, so that's eight scrolls. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have one ten, so we have one heel bone, and we have three. Um, in the units digit, so we have th we're going to write down three steps. And that's how we write um, 7,813,000 in Egyptian numerals. Okay. For number two, we have 634. We have six scrolls. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we have um, 30 as our 10. So we need to write um, dr or draw three heel bones. So one, two, three. And we have four in the units digit. We need to write down or draw four strokes, four steps. There you go. Okay, for number three, we have 9,210, so we need to write the lotus flower or the flower nine times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have two in the hundreds place, so we're going to draw the or write the scroll twice. One, two. And we have one in the units, in the tens digit rather. So that's one heel bone, and we don't have anything in the units digit. So again, we have zero here as a placeholder. For number four, we have 56,129. So for the 50,000, uh, remember um, 10,000 is a pointing finger, so we need to write that five times. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six in the thousands place. 1,000 is a lotus flower. We're going to draw the lotus flower to six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have one in the hundreds place. That's one scroll. We have two in the tens place. That's two heel bones. And we have nine in the ones digit and the units digit. So we need to write down the the stroke nine times so one two three four five six seven eight nine that's the answer for number four and lastly for number five we have simply 84 so we need to write the the heel bone eight times so one two three four five six seven eight and we're going to write the stroke four times one two three four okay and that's simply how we do the egyptian numerals how to write the hindu arabic to Egyptian numerals and you can do the opposite I mean if you're gonna if you're going to be given the Egyptian numerals write it in uh, Hindu Arabic that will be uh, simple enough to do okay you just need to count and just know have this table at hand so that you will know what um, what um, numeral in the Egyptian in the Egyptian numerals correspond to the Hindu Arabic or our numbers regular numbers okay and that's it for the for the Egyptian numerals under the fundamentals of mathematics course um, hope you had that um, very short video ha helped in your, in your understanding the Egyptian numerals and how to write them. Okay, so um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, see you soon. Bye.